What is up guys, Fringo1 here and welcome to my live reaction and review for chapter 166 and Avengers Res Re Resurrection for Black Clover. Alright guys, so last week, just want to let you guys know, sorry about last week, but unfortunately, I was actually in a little bit of an accident and... I got stuck in hospital till Tuesday, so that's why the videos didn't come out. But to make up for it, guys, I'm going to continue on this week with this week's chapter as well. I do have a full playthrough that is going to be uploading two videos a day on Monday through to Friday for Shining Resonance Refrain. So if you want to check that out, check it out. But anyway, guys, anyway, guys I know most of you guys are here for the manga. But anyway, let's get straight into this week's chapter. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really curious about what's going to go down this week. Let's get into it. Okay. A recollection. Who is William Vengeance? An Avengers Resurrection. All right. So seemingly, we're going to look at uh, William and everything like that. And like William Vengeance, who had light within him. For as long as I could remember, I felt that someone else was sleeping inside me. This person had been deeply hurt. He is very angry. He is very sad. I can feel it. I felt that I had to protect this weak existence. After all, it, it is not just my body anymore. In a way, I am never truly alone. Because of that, I could bear living through my painfully lonely childhood. Okay. When I was around nine years old, I started having certain dreams. I right, said so little flashbacks to the elves. They started with days of happiness. Okay, they were seeing all the things, the the wedding, you know, and ended with deceit, despair, and hatred. And then finally, the absolute massacre of all the elves that happened. Who I believe the one behind us was the original Magic Emperor. I felt it was my life's duty to protect you more than ever. At 13, I met Sir Julius. William, come join the magic notes. So he, so as we know, uh, Julius, he's uh, the magic emperor. He's a magic nerd, right? He was a strange person, but he, but he was the first person to ever recognize me for me. All right, you haven't got your grimoire, grimoire yet? Whoops. <laughs> well, the grimoire accepted ceremony isn't until you turn. 15, so you can, you can still have plenty of fun until then. He is a kind and magnificent person. He will definitely become an outstanding magic knight. I thought then that I would dedicate my grimoire, my services, to this man. Okay. So we got light now. You woke up at 16. At the time, I had just begun my term as a member of the Ash. Ash and D under Julius. But you too received a grimoire. Because of that, I was convinced that there were two souls souls living in this one body. So he's got the two books. He's got Light's book as well as his book. Alright, so it's a four leaf clover and a three leaf clover. Translation note here is uh, Tabata Sensei uses Naria no Giroku Ash and D instead of Mizro Ho Genku Azuri. All right, all right. So it looks like Julius was the former, like a former Azura D uh, captain, and then he became the Magic Knight Emperor. Okay. Over time, we came to mutual understanding regarding our nature, our state of being. At some point, we gained the ability to switch souls, so they had the ability, so they could jump back. It was my absolute duty for me to turn into you okay but to do that meant betraying both my country and the other person that I treasured so dearly you the person I was born with the one who shares my body who I consider a twin and he the one who showed me how to live my life the one who stands atop the magic knights my leader 
I am lost at who to choose. Whoever I side with, I am bound to hurt my friends. Okay, so this is what was going through William's head during uh, everything. You know, everything going on because obviously he had light. Light was inside him. Light wanted to kill everybody, wanted to kill Julius, the Clover Kingdom and everything. But William didn't want to do that. So it was kind of, <clears throat> no matter what he did, he was going to hurt somebody. So we got flashbacks of Fugo Leon and all that. All right, let's get going. I'm the worst because I couldn't choose. You ended up choosing for me. Then you won. Translation note. We're using the name confirmed in the guidebook. Confirmed in the guidebook. From now on. Okay. I'm not sure what's up. I'm sorry, Sir Julius. Congratulations, Patri. And so, it's time for our goodbyes. Your wish will be granted. Farewell, Patri. I pray that. So who's Patri? I'm, I'm assuming Patri is uh, the person who was light. Who was calling themselves light. Hmm? So, it's like coming to... Hmm? I dozed off. I must have used too much power. The imperfect resurrection is now complete. William has fallen into an endless slumber. Okay. So a lot of this stuff was obviously for him to get control of the body. Even though he, they could switch places whenever they wanted, he wanted full control. Now William is asleep. He's out, done. He's in endless slumber. Okay. Thank you, my only human friend. Farewell, William. So he's placed his grimoire on the tablet. With this, there is no longer any human who can kill me. So he's going in. Light should be healed. Should be headed to the capital with Ruya and the others. I must hurry as well. Clover Castle. So this is Patri. Alright. I'm trying to remember who Patri is. I've got a feeling we know that name. Therein lies the heart of such pretty discrimination. Of such petty discrimination. The very residents of the accursed royal family. The final destination of our revenge. So he's taken off. All right, so it looks like we're going back. This is our Sally, um, the zombie dude. And I believe it's Raddy's. Uh, he seemingly killed them. Uses them as sacrifices. So it's a magic gun. Yeah! So he's come back. What's going on here? He's screaming at the moment of reincarnation. Souls, sense of self-preservation, intense hatred along with anger, has made radius his magic, which only manipulated corpses grow. Soul manipulation. True soul, corpse magic completed. He's evolved magic. Calls back the souls of the sacrificed and puts them back into their bodies. Alright, so it looks like radius and all that's coming back. All right. They scream. Ah, lie. Now dare you fool me. Use me. Kill me. You will pay. You will fucking pay. So he's pissed, obviously. That's obviously he just got used in abuse, basically. You. You too. So we've got Sally. Like he's on our side. You two just made it. Let's go kill that bastard together. Ooh, so we've got Raddies, we've got Sally, they're all back. This is going to be awesome. This is going to come back and bite them in the ass big time. We knew something, something had to come with these two because they made such a big spill. I, I, I personally, as much as Sally kind of, is kind of creepy, I kind of like it. We need that kind of creepy character. So I'm going to see what she does when she sees Asta again. All right, so now we're going back to Asta. As we know, last week, Asta and everyone was going in on these three um, elves. Seemingly, they've taken them out. All right, we've released these three. <laughs> oh, yeah. So they're cheering. The Black Bulls are continuing on their way. Black Bulls are the best. So we've got uh, huh? you, hey, Black Bulls. So we've got uh, Raddies, Rattles, and Sally. We're going to use you fuckers for our revenge. Proposal? 
dripping in poison. Page 166, end. Ooh, all right. Interesting. All right, guys, so just hang on a second. We'll jump straight into the review. All right, guys, so chapter 166 of Black Clover. Not really an exciting chapter by any stretch of the imagination. It was pretty much giving us a little bit of insight into William. Uh, William Vengeance, as we know, he was the original captain of the Golden Dawn. And we know he also shared a body with Peter, I believe it is. Uh, give me a quick second to jump back, make sure I get the name correct. Uh, where is it? Uh, Patry, sorry. With, with Patry, who seemingly is the person that was impersonating Light. As we know, Light was in uh, the Mana the Mana Castle where Asta and the Royal Knights went to. As we know, Light is alive. He has the demon swords. Uh, similar to what Asta has, where I believe my theory was always that uh, Light had the demon slaying swords, where Asta has the demon swords. And they just have the same abilities and everything like that. So kind of like a yin-yang type thing. So where Asta is the anti-magic version, Light is the magic version. That's my sim that's kind of my theory on everything at the moment. So the majority of this chapter was basically looking from William Vengeance's side of the story, kind of learning how it came to be, and the fact that he didn't actually make the decision. It was Patry that made the decision, then went in on Julius, killed Julius, started all of this, resurrecting light and all that kind of jazz. We then get towards the end of the chapter, we see that Asta has, Asta and the Black Wolves have defeated the three elves from the previous week's chapter. We didn't get to see the wrap up that fight. We saw a bit of the fight last week, with, and I think, believe the chapter ended with Asta launching at them, at them with his sword. Seemingly, that ended the fight. Uh, one of the biggest things from this chapter, Rattles, Rades, and Sally have returned with uh, Raddy's, uh, not Raddy's, Rattle's magic basically evolving, going from corpse magic to soul manipulation magic. He is able to basically manipulate the souls of Sally, Raddy's, and himself and get put back into their bodies, creating their bodies again, and then phew, they've come back too. And then at the end of the chapter, they've come to the Black Bull saying, Oi. We're going to use you fuckers to get our revenge. And basically offering, a, seemingly offering a proposition to them. Because obviously they're pissed. They got killed by Patry, who they deem to be light. And they haven't realized that that's not the actual light. So this, this chapter was kind of short. Not a lot. Not much went down. Progression wise like crap all so this was very much an average chapter not very exciting not very intense not very dramatic nothing along those lines so yeah it was one of those type of chapters so overall guys for this chapter i'm going to give it two and a half stars it was an average chapter you know basically kind of explain to us what william's version of events is and how everything came to be you know with Patry pretty much just taking over uh, and basically not giving William the choice. You know, I believe that was the, the overall intention was for William to have the, uh, the choice. Uh, we also found that, that Light for the majority of the time was sleeping. It wasn't until about 15, 16 when, not Light, Patry actually woke up and then they got to a point where they could actually change swap places. And I think that's where Patrick was like, alright, I like being on the outside with William in the back. And then obviously Patrick being an elf and everything, he had his own agenda, as we all know with the stones and the resurrection and everything that by the, towards the end of this chapter we find that William has gone into an endless slumber. Now with Patrick laying his grimoire 
on up against the tavern and saying farewell to him. Basically saying, yep, you're not coming back. I've taken over this body. It's now my body. It's no longer yours. It's done. It's dusted. I'm moving on with the plan. Light should be, come back now. It should be heading to the main city. i got to get there to continue this revolution. So that's pretty much it. And then we had Saudi Rattles and Rattles come back. And then we see Asta having turned back three of the three uh, elves that they fought in last week's chapter back to humans. They're currently unconscious. Um, and then seemingly like they're moving on. But just as they're about to move on, Rattles, Rattles and Saudi appear and say, Oi, we're going to use you fuckers to get our revenge. What's going to happen? Are they going to team up? What's going to go around? I got to feel more they're going to team up to go back and to go in on Patry um, to take Patry down because Patry is who they got their revenge against. But yeah, overall, guys, this is very much a very simple chapter. Nothing too hype, nothing too crazy. Um, I do have a feeling that we have seen Patry before. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to go and look back and have a look into it. But for those of you guys who maybe know the story a lot more in depth and you've got the answers, let me know in that comment section below. I, my gut is telling me it's something to do with light. Obviously, it's an elf. We know that much. But to do with light, possibly the light's wife or child. That's what I'm thinking. Um, one of those. Or maybe like a brother or something along those lines. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, guys, let me know in that comment section, guys. What do you, who do you think Patry is? If we've seen Patry, I don't quite remember off the top of my head at the moment. I'm going to have to go and look into that. Uh, what you guys thought of the chapter? What do you think of the story overall? How do you think the Black Bulls and Sally Rattles and Radates, are they going to team up? Is there going to be a fight? What do you reckon is going to go down there? Uh, quite a lot of things to come out of this chapter, but overall, this chapter is a pretty average chapter at best. Anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. If you liked it, didn't like it, all that kind of jazz. If you agree with my score, don't agree with my score, all that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. Help me. Now, always, it's always blah, blah, blah. I can speak English. It's always appreciated. It helps the channel grow. And let's get to that 60 subscriber mark. That's our next goal. And as always, guys, I'm free no one. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys next time with another live reaction and review. Peace. Echo,